Hello everyone, welcome back to Architect Space. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the old lights RN120 biking tail lights. So recently, I've started to commute to work on bike and I have to leave my apartment very early in the morning when it's still pitch dark out. It would be very unsafe for me to bike without a tail lights or headlights. That's why I decided to get this light. My good friend recommended me the biking lights from Olight. Apparently they make really high quality and as well as functionality biking lights. In this video, I want to see if it's actually good. So without further ado, let's get started. As always, we have our Leatherman tool. It has a smart motion sensor. I don't know what that is. It also got a sensitive ambient light sensor. So I guess it will brighten or darken, depends on the environment. We have a battery indicators low power safe mode and there are just different modes I can imagine like flash you know SOS things like that and last but not least it's charged by using USB cable which is nice so I don't have to like go out and get batteries all the time it's a slide to open there you have it some instructions oh this thing is small I think you twist it like that there you go, easy. Let's see what else is in the box. Here we have like a hook. I'm not sure what this is for, but we also have a nice rubber band. I think this is for you to secure the lights under the saddle of your bike. We have a USB charging cable and two zip ties. Let's peel off the plastic foam. Ooh, satisfying. And if we press the power button right here, it should light up. Oh wow, this is so bright. If we if we press it again, it brighten up one more level. Oh, it just keeps getting brighter if you keep pressing it. Okay, so I guess there are three modes because this time it dims a little bit. So there are a total of three different modes. It's making everything look so red on my table. All right, so to turn it off, you just hold it. Okay, so this thing right here, it's for you to mount the light onto it like that. You just twist, there you go, it's locked in. The other option will be to mount the light into this little thing right here. So you can secure this thing under the saddle of your bike, just like that. So I guess there are two, mount an option. This is the saddle mount and this is the seat mount. The light is a uh, weather resistant. It's not like rain will get onto it, but it's definitely nice to have. The build quality is, I would say it's acceptable. It's not like made with metal or anything. I actually prefer it be made out of plastic because it doesn't add too much weight to your bike if you're someone that wants to go as light as possible. The power button is super clicky. It's uh, very satisfying to click on it. The quick mount makes it easier to take it on and off in case you need to charge. Speaking of charging, this is where the uh, USB cable goes in, just like that. There you go. Overall, this is a very cool bike tail light. Now let's put it on my bike and see how it looks and how it works. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom right now. I just want to show you how bright the old light tail lights get. We're at like a, maybe like 80% dimming environment. I have the door cracked a little bit open, but let's see. Here you go, ooh. It definitely turns my bathroom into a, like a horror movie. And this is a low, medium, and high. I mean, obviously you won't be able to tell how bright it actually is in the video, but I just give you a general idea in a dark environment like this, what you can kind of expect. So got my bike here and we got the old light tail light as well as the strap. Let's put it on the bike to see how it works and put it like right here. And yes, I know my seat is very low because I don't have very long legs. There you go. Now to put the lights on, all you need to do is align the disc and turn. Beautiful. Okay, I think this is a center. Oh wow, I like how like it blends right in with my bike. To turn it on, hold a button, 
here you go. We have our three dimming option. This is the max, low, medium, and the highest. Let me give you a uh, spin around. What you doing? What you doing? Taking a bath? Let's give her some privacy. It might be better for me to turn the lights off so it's not backlit. As you can see, the light is nice and secured and it, overall it just looks very stealthy. A lot of bike lights out there looks very bulky and ugly, but O-Lights is not one of them. It looks very stealthy and blends in with my blacked out bike. Overall, I love the lights. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a um, bike tail light. It's super bright, very minimalist, and uh, very stealthy. And it's just very smart that you can twist it to take it off and twist to put it back on. The whole process is very simple. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you think. And if you want to see more cool tech discoveries, make sure you subscribe. I'm constantly making reviews on the cool tech products that I personally enjoy a lot and I want to share that with you guys. Until then, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.